Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Uh, hope you're all having a good week. Rainy day here. Well, it's not really rainy, it's just really overcast and damp. We got fog last night that was so thick that it accumulated on the trees, and if you walked under the trees, it felt like it was raining. Very, very odd weather. But it's nice temperature-wise, uh, you know, sitting in the 70s or so. Beautiful fall temperatures. The first part of the week was, was great, and uh, we'll see what happens with the rest of the week. So, I've been busy as all get out. Uh, I haven't been able to make these sorts of videos in a couple of weeks, I think, and uh, I haven't, I'm way behind on answering comments, and I apologize for that. I like to acknowledge the comments. I just have not had a minute to, to sit down, and I mean, this is actually one of the first minutes I've had, and I wanted to use it to, to check in with you all and let you know what's going on. By the way, I'm smoking my Wednesday basket pipe. I've told this story many times, but this is a very old pipe now. I've had this at least 30 years, and uh, it's served me well. I think it cost me about $20 when I bought it, and it's been a favorite. And I have haunted bookshop in the pipe, and I may have to refill that because I've been smoking it for about... 15 minutes before I started up the video. So what have I been busy doing? Well, I'm editing a Halloween video that I will post as a premiere and I'm going to try to do it this Monday. So probably Monday at like 8 p.m. Eastern. This will go up as a premiere, which means anybody that wants to watch it at 8 p.m. will be able to uh, chat in the live stream and uh, I will try to be there as well and that should be fun uh, but of course you'll be able to see it after that as well and these these videos I do them once a year they take a good deal of work so I just recorded the audio voiceover this morning and that's all ready to go I got all the sort of pictures and clips and stuff that's going to build up the bulk of it I got to do all that ed editing and then I got to record an intro that goes on the front end, so it's got some work to do. But uh, yeah, it should be done by Monday. And the other thing I've been working on is I've been trying to get Zoom to talk to OSB to talk to YouTube live stream, and I think I've cracked that. So I got a couple of guys on the hook for the ghost story show that we're going to do on October thirtieth. And we're going to do a dry run of that tomorrow. That's going to be private, just the, just the folks that are involved. We're just going to be working out the technical details, but I think it's going to work. If it works, we'll have a really cool live stream on October 30th where you'll be able to see all four, I think it's four guys. Uh, some have conflict, so we're not exactly sure how many will be there, but you'll be able to see me and the guys that are going to be reading the ghost stories. And... You'll be able to hear them, obviously. Now, if that works, that opens up the possibility of using that same system to have folks that want to be on the show as guests and don't mind being seen on video. We'll still do the audio, uh, the audio only. That's not a problem, but it'll be nice to have the option to do the video uh, and perhaps even do the audio over Internet, which might give us better sound quality. So, anyway, we're making progress here. We're coming into the 21st century. I think that's right. Uh, so that's yeah, not not too shabby, huh? Uh, it's it's a lot of fun, but it's just it's October is always a really busy month, and I really like Halloween, and I like to do all this stuff, and it just you know it's it's it becomes this mountain at the end of the the month that you have to climb, but that's okay. It's it's worth it in the end. What else is going on? Um, I guess the one thing I it's been on my mind, and uh, you know, you keep as as always, you, you know, there's always this sky is falling. Here comes the censorship. We're all going to be kicked off of YouTube. I get it. 
But, you know, a big story recently was that, uh, you know, the whole censorship of the New York Post, uh, their story about Biden's son, his relations with Ukraine, and the fact that Biden as vice president had contact with Ukrainian officials and they used him to leverage this large loan to get a company off the hook. It's a complicated story. Go read the New York Post if you're interested. The, the point is... Uh, Twitter and Facebook censored this. It's a newspaper article. They wouldn't allow it to be shared. And, you know, that's, well, first off, you know, it's crazy because, you know, Facebook has censored like 300 and some uh, Trump posts, and they've censored exactly no Biden posts. So there's something going on there. Uh, and I know for a fact uh, a lot of what Biden is putting out there is just not true. You know, everything he said about COVID is wrong. Uh, some of the things Trump says about COVID is wrong as well, but just about everything Biden says about it is wrong. Uh, anyway, the censorship thing is a problem. And not because of the political ramifications, which are bad, you know. And not because, you know, what most people are saying is, oh, oh it's only going to be a matter of time before the pipes and screw. Yeah, yeah, maybe, but that's not the issue. There's a bigger issue here, and that is, um, I believe it's called Article 230. I might have the number wrong, but there is this FCC regulation that basically makes social media platforms exempt from litigation because they are not considered to be publishers. So if you own a newspaper and you write uh, a news story saying, uh, oh, I'm going to pick on my favorite whipping boy. If I, read in, if, if, I, if I own the New York Post and I write a news story titled, Eric the Blue Collar Pipe Smoker is a Big Fat Jerk, um, Eric could sue me. Eric could sue the, the New York Post for that uh, because it's you know defamation of character and all that kind of stuff, and it's not true. Um, now... If I write that on Twitter, Eric can't sue Twitter. And the reason is this, this Article 230 exemption that they have. They are not considered publishers. They are not responsible for the things that are posted on their platforms. Well, now they're coming out and saying they have to censor things in order to protect us from, you know, the evil misinformation that we would never possibly be able to understand. The problem there is that if they're doing that, they're admitting that they're publishers and that they're responsible for their content. And therefore, they are going to lose that Article 230 exemption. I hope I got that number right. I think it's 230. Um, and if they lose that, then they're going to get sued. <laughs> and they're not going to exist anymore because, you know, in that case, what I just said about my friend Eric, and you know I'm teasing Eric, I don't really mean it, um, but, you know, anything I say about anyone would make YouTube liable for my statements. And that's, that's crazy, you know. But that's the situation that they're walking into with this bizarre attempt to, you know, regulate the truth and, and force the, uh, the election to come out in a way that they, in their twisted minds, believe it should. Uh, this is, this is wrong. And I swear to you that if this were happening in the other direction, I would be having the same conversation with you right now. It's not about who's right and who's wrong in the political sphere. It's about whether or not it is okay for these social media platforms to censor information, period. Now, there's some things, you know, there's basic decency. You know, you can, you can have, you, and, and people are going to point out, oh, they're a private platform. Now, yes. So as a private platform, they can make the decision that there will be no pornography on the platform. And that's just baked into their user agreement. And if they see pornography, you're out. That's fine. They can make the decision that there will be no tobacco on the platform. And if they do that, it will be baked into the user agreement. And if you talk about tobacco, you're gone. That is all legal. What they can't do is they can't come up with... Uh, these, you know, we can't allow this post because it's presenting misinformation. 
uh, that's not going to stand. So I don't know what this is going to mean. It's going to be messy for a while, and uh, it may have some pretty significant implications for social media going forward, which might not be a bad thing, you know. I don't think it's going to hurt us. I don't think it's going to hurt the YTPC necessarily, but I do think it's going to change uh, a lot of what we see going on in the Twitter and Facebook world where the politics are much, much more of an issue. Uh, no, time will tell. It'll, it'll be interesting. I have a lot more that I'd like to talk about with regards to the upcoming election. I'm not going to. You all know where I stand and you have access to the information like I do. So what, I'm, what I'd like to do you know, in lieu of me ranting about who I think is the better candidate and everything else, I want to just encourage you, and I know a lot of you already have done this and already are doing it, but I want to encourage you to really, really look in to the facts. Don't trust what you're being told. Dig for the, the sources. Find out where this information is coming from. Um, Two examples that I'll give you, just to not be biased. This whole story about President Trump's $750 in taxes. Where did it come from? It came from a single article that was based on an anonymous source. And the information that the anonymous source gave them would have been illegally obtained because it is not public record. So do we believe that? Yeah, it might be true, but... It's not a very good source. Um, this whole story with, with Joe Biden, with, uh, or with Hunter Biden, and this uh, laptop that just suddenly appeared and you know, went to the FBI. You know, I, the New York Post says that it's real. Uh, the FBI has come out and said that there's no evidence that this has in any way been faked uh, or that it's got anything to do with, with Russia, which immediately people jumped to the Russia thing. Um, you know, it, 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 there's pretty good evidence that it's his laptop. I mean, it's got pictures of him on it. The, the cover had a Bo Biden Foundation sticker on it. Um, so, you know, it seems real, but you got to convince yourself of that. And I have to admit that I'm probably about 80% convinced, but not, a, not 100%. That's what I mean, though. You've got to figure out where is this information coming from. Don't just take the headline of, you know, Hunter Biden provided access with, with the vice president. That, if true, terrible, make sure you believe it's true. Make sure you, you find what's underneath that and really get at the, the basic facts. And then take that information, decide who you're going to vote for, and vote for them. This is a very, very important election. No matter which side you're on, it's a very important election. Everybody agrees on that. And I don't think it's important for a lot of the reasons people are pointing to. You know, as, as I've said before, we're a resilient people, and we're going to remain one nation under God. I'm convinced of that. We might have an easier path or a more difficult path, depending on the outcome of this election. But I'm, I'm confident that it's all going to be okay regardless. But it's only going to be okay if we all exercise our right to vote and, and you know, take full advantage of it. So, do that, but do it in an informed fashion. Okay, I'm done preaching for the day. Uh, Friday night, we're going to be having, a, what are we calling it, K. Ron Pipes Virtual Pipe Club. Uh, so just me and me and you guys. Uh, should be fun, and I promise that none of this stuff will be discussed on Friday. <laughs> we, we do have a lot of fun, and we stay away from those kinds of things because that is an opportunity to uh, sort of decompress and get away from the world for an hour and a half. Uh, so we got that, and then the following Friday is going to be Ghost Stories. And again, this coming Monday, I'm hoping that my Halloween video will come out as a premiere, and I hope you'll... You'll watch that because I think you're going to enjoy it. It's 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 a fun topic, and I I really uh, have enjoyed putting it together. So with that, guys, um, 
I'm going to call this to a close and get back to, uh, to my real job for a little while. Hope you've all had a nice week so far and the rest of the week treats you well. And you're looking forward to a uh, weekend in just a couple of days. So until then, folks, you all take care. Bye now.